Hi! As you can see, I am currently not living in a van. Um, I moved into a house in November last year. And then on New Year's Eve, I'm actually moved into this house because my last living arrangement wasn't ideal. As a lot of you have been asking me, like, have you been living in a van? Where's your van? What happened? Long story short is I still have the van. I drive it around. Um, but I'm just not living full time in and at the moment for a wide array of reasons. So since I've gotten the van, I have mostly stayed like about half the winter. So I'll usually stay until the end of December, do Christmas and New Year's with my friends and family, and then I'll take off traveling down south where it's warmer. Um, but this year, because of just the way that life worked out, I'm traveling in Mexico, Nicaragua, and then going to touring in Taiwan, and then Japan, Singapore, Indonesia, there was a lot of travel in one year, and a lot of that travel actually happened in the summertime, which is usually when I'm here. I miss home, like I miss Vancouver, and I wanted to come back and stay and ground and plant roots. Um, but the only way that I was going to make it through this winter without wanting to take off again is if I had a cozy little nest space that I can incubate my um, projects in. At the moment, I am focused actually a lot more on dance. I mentioned in my last video that I am taking a lot more dance training, going to dance events. I am working on a lot more painting, so I have a few more art pieces that I'm currently working on. And I started working a lot more with the local plant medicine community, more specifically, I guess, MAPS and mushrooms. So in case you don't know, MAPS is an organization. They do a lot of research around legalizing and making um, psychedelic psychotherapy available for people. So there's MAPS and there's MAPS Canada. We're kind of related, but MAPS Canada is its own separate organization. And I've been on the volunteer team for the last year and a bit now. And in a similar vein, not related to MAPS, but in psychedelics and plant medicine. So I actually recently started working in a mushroom dispensary. Um, we have all kinds of mushrooms like chagas, lion's manes, turkey tails, some amazing medicinal mushrooms grown on the Pacific Northwest here. And we also have microdosing. So if you don't know much about microdosing, I highly recommend Googling it or doing some research. It has some really amazing benefits. I've been microdosing myself on and off over the years. Um, so it's really amazing that now this is in a store available for people and I get to be a part of it. So if you're in Vancouver area, come by and say hi at Daydream. There's just so, something so special about Vancouver and the community that I have here. And I'm just happy to be here. Uh, but it's also cold in the wintertime. I mean, comparing to the rest of Canada, it's not that bad. But it is like actually wetter than most other parts of Canada. So it's like kind of wet. It's kind of cold in the wintertime, which I don't mind as long as I'm inside and dry and cozy. Last week it was so snowy, it was so cold, it was like minus 10 for a few days in a row um, and I was so happy to not be in the van for those days. Um, I will show you a video of how much snow was on my van. This is what my van looks like right now. It's buried in like a foot of snow. It's been like this for like a week almost now. Comparing to the rest of Canada, this isn't bad at all. Like this is like baby snow. <laughs> But Vancouver is not equipped for this. Like the city of Vancouver doesn't um, shovel these side streets. So trying to get out of here like is pretty hazardous and I'm not willing to afford crashing my van. I can't afford that. So I'm very happy to not be <laughs> driving around or cold because it's like negative 10 outside um, pretty much like all week. So no thanks, I'm good. My roommate tried going out to get groceries that day and she just saw tires, people's tires like spinning out. So she kind of just went like around the block and came back. She didn't even make it. Where, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> just for the, to the shops. Yeah. Up through the blizzard. Good luck. Good luck, man. <laughs> Thanks for all you do. So roommate's about to go cross country skiing out there because cars and buses no longer function. So, and we're pretty much, much out of groceries. We're gonna make some dinner tonight. So he's gonna go <laughs> It's just nice to have this space where I can cook food, meal prep, do laundry regularly, and not have to like put in extra effort to get those basic daily things done, you know? Um, it's a lifestyle thing. Sometimes people ask me like, how do I decide if family life is right for me? And 
ultimately it's going to be really up to you where you're at in life, what kind of lifestyle you're living, where your priorities are at. Um, van life made a lot of sense for me. It was actually so perfect for me for the time that I was doing it. But right now, uh, my life is just taking a little bit of a different turn and my attention and energy is called to be elsewhere. For a while, I was actually doing an online interpretation job on the phone. I don't do that anymore because I started working at the mushroom dispensary. But for a while, I need a consistent steady Wi-Fi, which is a huge contributing factor to why I chose to be in a house rather than the van this year. I had my Wi-Fi extender, but to regularly be able to stream and call and do videos, um, I do require something a little bit more stable and in a controlled environment. Having a space to practice music um, without having cold hands and fingers is also really nice. So just for all of those reasons, to stay in Vancouver, to practice art and music, to have internet, just to be able to create what I want to be creating and not be spending a lot of my extra time, energy, and resources on trying to stay warm and store things and keep them dry. Um, I just decided that for me this year, I wanted to be indoors. Not that I don't love van life and not that I won't go back to it one day, but just for right now, this fits. So I know a lot of you are here on my channel because of van life stuff. Sorry, not sorry. I um, Van life is actually a very small portion of who I am as a person. It's It was circumstantial and it was never like this persona that I intended to take on. Um, it's great that like it somehow has grown my YouTube channel because most of you actually probably found me from Forrest Stevens' video. Yeah, that's not who I am. That's not my identity. I have an entire life outside of that. Yeah, I hope you guys understand and if you care to see what else I'm up to other than being in a van, then... Stay subscribed and there's lots coming. I think that is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!